Hello everybody, my name is Kai Wan. Last week I just went to a photography exhibition and that's my first time to see the Aperture new tube light. The tube light brand called SGC. It's the collaboration between Aperture and Quasar Science. So a really awesome tube light at Citus Link. This is what we are waiting for. So today I'm just gonna go through all the menus, all the settings on the tube light and some specification. The tube light come with two sizes, P60 and P120. It's a 60 centimeters and a 120 centimeters tube light. Both of them are battery powered tube light. We can also buy more spare battery if we don't want cable messing around. And this light has Citus Link Bluetooth. Citus Link is my favorite way to control these kind of RGB lights. Aperture also have the Citus Link bridge. It's pretty similar to the Astera tube light control system. Slave and master is a function when using multiple tubes and just link the effect wirelessly. We also have wire and wireless DMAX settings. In the effect page, we have more fire options and more cop options and all the aperture effects you like. Next page is the fast CCT and HSI preset. Next page HSI, nothing special. 2700K to 6500K. The CCT range is just okay. The Aperture Nova P300C still have the best, the widest CCT range. We also have grain and magenta shift, easy to match different light source. That's it. And this tube light is already on sale in Taobao. 60 centimeters unit, 650 US dollar. 120 centimeters cost 900 US dollars. So it's not the cheapest tube light on the market. You can buy some other brand, maybe non light nan light aperture told me they hope they can release these sgc tube light worldwide before end of december Citus link tube light interchangeable batteries kind of interesting light finally we can choose between astera quasar science and aperture sgc if you want budget options just go with nan light Nanlite also make lots of awesome tube light too. In the exhibition center, I also saw the Aperture 600D Pro, the huge, powerful LED light, but actually nothing special. It's just like a bigger version of the 300D Mark II. I don't know is it the final design because we just can put two powerful high voltage V-mount battery to power this 600 watt of LED light. But at the bottom, there is a DC import. So you can use some kind of battery power station to power up that 600 watt of light. And because it's a powerful light, so the power box is huge and heavy and also built in a little fan to cool it down. Yep, this is one good shit today. So if you like this video, press like, make sure to subscribe on my YouTube channel if you want to watch more crazy video like this. Check out this playlist. My name is Kai Wan, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.